It's one of the tougher places in the Big 12 to play. Strawby puts it down, four-point Cyclone lead. Iowa State knocks off number one, Nebraska. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's fun to kind of have it be your own thing. You know, when we first came in, the program was struggling and there weren't many people in the stands and, you know, there wasn't a lot to get excited about. And to see over my, you know, first eight years, to see that change and grow and to see now 5,000 people in the stands, to see fans charge the court when we, you know, have a big win, big matches on national TV. It's been a blast, honestly. Match point Cyclones, Matt Ruff for the win! It's been fun because there's so much support, community support, the fan base is amazing, our administration has been very, very supportive, and I feel given us everything we need to, to be successful. So we've been to the Elite Eight now a couple times, been knocking on the door for the Final Four. We want to get there. We want to compete for a national championship, and we also want to win a Big 12 championship. You know, those are the things that we haven't done yet that um, we've been close to. So although it's been a blast and there's been a lot of firsts, we're not done yet. I absolutely feel like those things are realistic. We're starting to get just more and more talent every year, and our recruiting classes have been really pretty great the past few years. So, you know, if we just can kind of continue to build on that, we're going to be able to do some pretty great things. On a good dig, Landwehr to Hurd put it down. I mean, an all around great game from Iowa State today. Well, first, great students. I think just about every semester I've been here, we've had over 3.0. Um, we've had 3.4, 3.6 in the last year. So we have pretty great students on our team. Um, so that's, of, of course, what we look for first. Uh, but then after that, we're, we love kids with good character who are gonna work really hard when they get here, who are gonna be good teammates, selfless type people, um, and who aren't afraid to compete and, and, and get after a little bit. We talk a lot about the fact that at this level, everybody's talented, everybody's athletic, everybody's good. The people, the players that work just a little bit harder, that are a little bit tougher, the players that aren't afraid to just get after a little bit more, those are the ones that are going to separate themselves from the rest of the pack. And so that's what we try to do, I think, with each player and as a team. You know, let's work just a little bit harder than everybody else and separate ourselves. I feel like we, we have one of the best staffs in the country. We typically take great athletes who maybe aren't the best volleyball players yet and turn them into great volleyball players. And we do that, I think, because we train very, very well. I was an All-American setter um, when I was in college. We have an All-American outside in Don Sullivan, and she takes our outsides and trains them very well, and we've had a lot of success in that position. Um, my husband and volunteer, Joe Lynch, often takes the defense, and we've had all-American liberos, Big 12 libero of the year, year after year. And then John Newman is taking our middles and he's coached at the highest levels and, and um, coached with the USA Pipeline over the summer. So we have a pretty talented staff. And again, I think the thing we do best is we find a way to get you to reach your potential. We're gonna work at it and, and help you become the very best you're capable of while you're at Iowa State. I would love for our players to continue their career um, after they play here, and, and we're starting to do that now. We've had lots of players go on and play overseas, uh, play in Puerto Rico, play professionally. Iowa State is a great place to come and continue to develop your game and then prepare you for life and, and play after college. We really do have a family atmosphere, and I say that because We've lost very, very, very few players in my time here. Um, our retention rate is almost perfect. We're really proud of that because it seems like in college athletics these days, there's just more and more turnover, a lot more transfers, and we're almost perfect. We're actually at about 98% retention with our players. So that tells me that players, when they come here, they like it. They, they have a good experience. They like playing for us. Um, I do believe we treat our players with respect, but demand a lot of them. But I feel like we're pretty loyal to our players. You know, they, they make a commitment to come play for Iowa State, and, you know, and for me, and, and I make a commitment to them as well that I'm gonna stick by you. Our players stay, you know, they, they graduate, and they have a great experience. I tell recruits all the time, I think small college towns are the best places to, to go to school because you are kind of a mini celebrity here. Everybody knows who you are, and they ask you about how the season's going, and, and they really care about you. One-on-one -on -one backside, Big B with a kill. Our fans are terrific. Um, again, that's been a part of our program that's just grown leaps and bounds um, in the past several years, and we now have 
a thousand season ticket holders and we're 11th in the country in attendance. We'll get, for our big matches, four or five. We've had 10,000 people at a match. That's been fun to really see that growth. Um, and yet, I feel like that part of our program isn't done growing either. They love to talk about Hilton Magic. Anytime you come into Ames, one of the tougher places in the Big 12 to play. The Cyclones are 10-1 and one in their home house this season. Uh, when a recruit walks in and sees that atmosphere in Hilton, sees the fans and you know how loud it is and how rowdy it is and the, the students on the end and the band, and they want to play for that, you know, they want to play for that team. So it makes a huge, huge difference in, in our program. When you walk in Hilton and you walk into our volleyball offices and then you go down and you, you see the court and you see the locker room, you know volleyball is important at Iowa State. You know, you walk around and you see the pictures, you see our wall of um, past All-Americans and all Big 12 players and you, you understand how important volleyball is here. My husband and I built a house here a couple years ago. Um, we love it here. We love the, the community, the, the city of Ames. Um, our administration has been incredibly supportive of the volleyball program. I've made a commitment to Iowa State to stay as long as I have and will continue to stay because of the support I feel. You know, I feel like we have everything here we need to be a national championship program. And we're really happy here. I'm thrilled to raise my kids here. It's a really good place to live. Cyclones TV has been tremendous for our program. Most schools, they still have kind of a one camera pointing down to the court. You can't quite see who, who's who when they're playing a volleyball match. And now when you go on Cyclones TV, it actually looks like a TV production. So you can see replays, you hear the play-by-play, -play, you feel like you're watching a TV match. And so we have you know, lots of players whose families can't make it or friends can't make it to every match, and they log on. There it is, Tanisha Matlock puts it down. Iowa State wins 25-21. I've gotten just a ton of great feedback about not just watching the matches, but all the behind the scenes stuff we do during the week and the coaches shows. They get a lot now during the week that keeps them connected and keeps them involved with the program. I really believe Iowa State is one of the best places to play in the country now. It's been a long road, but it's been a fun road. And um, now when you walk into Hilton Coliseum, you see some of the best fans in the country. We play in one of the best conferences in the country. We play in one of the best facilities in the country. We are elite now and we're just getting started. You know, there's, there's gonna be a lot more fun things to come and I'm really excited for the next several years and just to see how our fan base continues to grow and how the level of athlete that we have in our program continues to grow and you know, I think the next several years are gonna be a lot of fun.